This is the story of Allison's grave, a grave that sits in the Mosquito Valley Cemetery, which is located in Du Bois Town, PA. This ghost story was popularized by the book Weird Pennsylvania by Matt Lake. The story as it is presented in the book is actually a combination of two different ghost stories from around the same area. To tell the first of the two stories, we have to go all the way back to the year 1899. In 1899, the Columbian newspaper published a news article titled, A Phantom Object Frightens the People of South Williamsport. The story in the article is that there is a headless woman in a long, flowing white robe in South Williamsport, and that this spirit is said to be that of an unknown woman whose skeleton was found on the mountain's back of Du Bois Town. The mountain's back, as it is called in the article, refers to Mosquito Valley, the same location where Allison's grave is said to be. I have heard from others living in that area that the headless ghost haunts all over, not just at the site of Allison's grave. There have been reported sightings on the nearby road Skyline Drive, for example. The second of the two stories concerns the actual grave. The grave in question belongs to Edna A. Allison, who died in a plane crash in June of 1964. Edna Allison flew from Williamsport, Pennsylvania to Phoenix, Arizona, then to Aspen, Colorado. She was planning on going from there to a business conference, but her plane went down. Edna Allison and the others in the plane with her were missing for four months before the plane was finally discovered in a remote area about nine miles northeast of Aspen. Edna Allison was found still strapped into her seat. She was badly decomposing, so they decided it was best to just cremate her and send her back to her family in Williamsport. Her ashes were spread at the Mosquito Valley Cemetery, and a grave was put there in her memory. As for the ghost of Edna Allison, Many believe that she still haunts the Mosquito Valley Cemetery as a shadow, and that if you see the shadow of her ghost in the cemetery, a bad accident will strike before you cross the stone bridge that leads away. This legend has led to many people going to the cemetery late at night to see what they can find. Unfortunately, the cemetery is private, so you can't actually go into the cemetery. There are posted signs saying no trespassing in private property. There are even claims that the owners have shot rock salt at people trespassing before. The only way you'll be able to legally go and investigate the grave yourself is to get a glimpse of Allison's grave from outside the gate. Just be careful if you do decide to go check out Mosquito Valley Cemetery and the surrounding area. You never know what you might see. I figured I would actually drive over to the cemetery and I would take a look and show you guys what it's like after dark. It's currently 1.34 a.m. and yeah, let's do it. Now don't you worry about me. I have my trusty dog, Ginger, here. She is fearless, ferocious. And she is going to protect me from the ghost. Yeah, but she's been training to do ghost hunting her entire life. You know, she's watched every episode of Scooby-Doo at least ten times. You know, she loves Scooby Snacks, and she, she's ready. You know, she's ready to take on all those ghosts. She knows what to do. I just turned on to Mosquito Valley Road, which is the road you need to take in order to get to the Mosquito Valley Cemetery where Allison's grave is. And there should be a bridge right up here and then a road you can turn right on. Alright guys, I'm here at the cemetery. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the posted sign. What do you think, Ginger? Any ghost? She's looking. <laughs> I'm going to probably stay here for about 20 minutes or until a car shows up behind me. Um, and I will report to you guys if anything happens. 
her grave is in there. And yeah. All right, guys, I'm heading out now. It just hit two o'clock a.m. And I really didn't see anything. I saw a couple shadows, but I was using a flashlight, so I mean, what can I expect? I had the windows down and I didn't really hear anything but like wind and my dog was acting pretty normal so nothing conclusive obviously.